So um, I'm not going to stay long. I, I wasn't planning on doing a, a live, but I'm going to do one. So fuck it. Uh, basically, <clears throat> so I just wanted to say this Doja Cat thing. I just wrote a little thing, but this is clearly propaganda. And I mean, I don't know if she did it because she knew it was going to cause, uh, you know, drama. But maybe she didn't. But um, don't be over judging the girl. Obviously, she got problems. She's a young lady. You know what I mean? And she seems like she's definitely a victim of things just like everybody else. You know what I mean? Um, I like her creativity. And I know she does a lot of stuff for um, shock value. You know what I mean? She's a shock value type of person. So I don't know the girl to be saying what she did or didn't do intentionally. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to be like, oh, she's canceled. Oh, I don't like her music anymore. Y'all don't know half the politics of any of the musicians or artists that you love. You know what I mean? If you knew how half of them lived, you wouldn't like them. You know what I mean? For real. So don't go, oh, now I can't like. I mean, I saw the video footage. And I feel like she set herself up for failure with that one. But see, that goes in with the whole psychology. Not to be all extra into Doja, but to me, I'm just using her as an example of she represents the person of color thought or woman thought, period, in these times. You know, she's a younger woman, so she's a younger version. But she represents that to me. Like, I've seen interviews where she was like, I've never met my father. Well, that's not true. She met her father, obviously, you know, because there's pictures of her with her father when she was a little kid. So she's a drama queen. You know what I mean? Obviously, her dad left when she was a little kid and she's got a little brother, too. So he must have been wrong around long enough to make two babies with the woman, her mama. You know what I mean? So it's some of this is just drama to sell albums. Now you want to hear didn't do nothing. You feel me? Now you want to hear didn't do nothing. I want to hear didn't do nothing. I heard about 10 seconds of that goddamn song and I'm like, that shit bumps. I want to hear didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? But they're trying to pump it like, oh, she's anti-black and she's she's as anti-black as black people are anti-black. She's as, she's as anti-black as everybody else who claims that they ain't. So stop it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. Like, then they showed a clip of her, like, hating her natural hair. Oh, I hate my 5C hair. Yeah, and every sister I know that got 5C hair don't like their 5C hair either. Stop being hypocrites. That's all I'm saying. Stop being fucking hip- hypocrites. That's all I'm fucking saying. Like, she ain't no... She ain't no worse than nobody else. That's all I'm saying. You want to see my face? <laughs> okay, let me get up. So, yeah... I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just, I, I, I wasn't even going to do a video, but I'm like, yo, I just can't stand this hypocrisy, man. It's just a fucking hypocritical thing to me. It's just like, you know, you know, name me one artist who's not, or one woman right now who, who's not influenced by, by the times, you know, who they talking about, who you talking about? Girl, I'm talking about Doja Cat. You know what I mean? I don't know if you know what's going on and it ain't that deep and it ain't like, it's like, why am I wasting time talking about it? But because, because to me, she represents like where sisters are at, period. Now, now, now all day I've been seeing this thing now, right? Every 20 years, every generation, they bring this argument about, am I black or am I biracial? That shit, right? Have y'all been seeing that? Like, uh, oh, biracial. well, if your mom's black and your dad's white, you're, you're not black. You're biracial, right? Y- have y'all seen that today? Okay, so I'm not here to, to me, to claim a color or a so-called race is a political thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit anyway. Pretty much when they say so-called African-American, they're fucking, we're all mixed. Every black person I know is mixed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, every black person combination of like black so-called white like was irish or english or something and native american tell me i'm wrong right so the fact that we've been labeled black is just like that's a political term that's been around since the 60s you know from the black power movements and stuff like that so i'm not disrespecting that term i'm just saying you know stop being hypocrites is what i'm saying like knock it off you know what i mean like the girl is like 20 something she's confused I mean, even if all this is even true, it could just be purely entertainment. 
today. I just felt like I needed to speak on it because they're doing this cancel culture crap. And I feel like the lady's songs are dope. And I like fucking Dolja Cat. I think she's freaking dope. And I'm not going to stop listening to her music because allegedly they claim she was doing some old disrespectful stuff. All these broads, all this pop music is, is semi-porn. Like, I mean, come on, y'all. Y'all have known this for like 20 goddamn years. Now y'all want to act brand new? Come on. Missy, not Missy. Not Missy. How about that? Um, everybody, Foxy, Kim, Nikki, uh, all of them, everybody. I love Queen B. Don't get at me, Beehive. But everybody, all of them promote it. And then, then that little Karen broad, that she's like the national Karen to me. This, what was her name? Lana Del Rey. She's the, that's, she represents the, uh, the whole thing with fucking Becky, Ke Karen. That's her. That's her. Okay. The Lana Del Rey. Like she could have made her point without even smashing on all those other ladies because it's hypocritical. It's like, come on, Lana Del Rey. You're in the same field. You do the same crap. You don't half naked yourself probably right now. You know what I'm saying? But her to use them as examples was lame. I guess she into some, <laughs> I mean, whatever she into in her bedroom is her business. Just like anybody else who's having, doing their thing in their bedroom. That's what I'm saying. Like if y'all really knew what these artists were really doing in their own privacy, you would not like them probably, you know what I'm saying? So now this lady's number one, I think because she blew up so fast, everybody's trying to figure out who she is. And I think a lot of people were devastated to find out that she was actually black is what I think. To find out her dad was actually from straight up Africa, you know, and I think people were like, oh my God, she's not what she, we thought she was. I think that's really what was happening. I think people was bugging because they found out she wasn't what they thought she was. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we knew who she was. We saw that big old booty. We knew, we knew, you know what I'm saying? But I think people in America or wherever she was blowing up, whoever with, was surprised to learn that she wasn't what they thought she was. And then they want to get all blown up and blow her up and, you know, do all that. Let me pause this because my husband's calling me. I got to pause it. I don't know how to pause it, so I'm going to try to pause it. Like we sense, lens dance, humans, it's time to break. 